Hey everyone, I'm Lex Scott Davis at CinemaCon promoting Superfly. Future is across the board with any demographic, like arguably the hypest <laughs> rapper, producer there is right now. I think that the audience will, the younger audience will for sure connect to his beats, his um. The, the authenticity that Future brings, he's in his own lane, you know what I mean? And he's definitely one of the, I mean, of this generation, one of the highest, you know, caliber of music people and moguls there is out there. So to have him attached to this, I'm also a big fan of his, um, to have him attached to this and be on the same project that his name is attached to is like, it's amazing, it's, it's so exciting. I'm excited for everyone to be in the theater and really hear all of his new music and really be able to dance to everything and while they're in their seat. As a woman, I'm a speak for the women. I think in a time like this, um, it's really awesome to be able to portray what it means to be a woman in 2018. You know what I mean? Having the strength, the dominance, and the equality with the men. Um, Georgia, my character I play, is amongst the men. She brings the poise and she brings the right attitude and the, and the right um, amount of maturity to a lot of the situations. The fact that she can be the voice of reason for Priest and Cynthia, you know, amidst all of the, the chaos that's going on around them, it's an honor and a huge responsibility. I believe in X's vision a thousand percent. He's such an artist in every aspect. When we began the film, he had done so much homework and backstory on each of our characters, literally had packets for every character, breaking down um, their characteristics based on their zodi zodiac signs and numerology. He did the extra amount of homework to give us layers that we needed to go forward and steer you know, the story which I've never had from a director at all. So it was really cool that he brought this new element and this new way of thinking about um, character development and as well as his vision, just his keen eye for art, you know what I mean? He's, he's been making visual art for years with music and paying attention to colors and paying attention to angles, knowing when to not just be standard, but when to go Dutch with an angle, you know what I mean? It was really cool to have his different type of approach where I feel like you would usually see in an independent film, but he brought it to um, a studio feature, which is awesome. And I'm so excited and proud of him that this is, you know, to be able to have, share a first studio feature together is like really, really cool. Yeah. I think, oh, there's a running tie between two outfits. It was my opening scene where she, where Georgia has on this two piece and it's, it's like drenched in beads and like just, flowing in it. It does a little dance when you move. It's like the new Tina Turner. <laughs> and then, but over top of that, Antoine Antoinette Messam, who is our um, costume designer, layered it with a, like f this bright red fur. And I'm like, oh my God, Antoinette, can I please take this for home? She's like, no, but <laughs> I can dream, you know what I mean? So between that one and the burgundy suit, the burgundy suit is just so, it just stands out in a room full of people. And when Georgia wears it, she's actually at a house party where all of the women in the room are in like body cons and just a little more revealing. And she chose to wear this suit and it still made her stand out amongst all of these beautiful women. But she didn't have to expose anything. She didn't have to show extra skin unnecessarily and she still commanded the attention. It's really awesome.